I'll tell you what, inside this bus, there's tons of glass to cover. And frankly, that's an issue that most people struggle with. So in this bus, I have a massive windshield. I have quite a few windows to my left, to my right. Plus there's several TVs, there's a microwave. I'm going to show you how to properly clean your glass to a streak free finish, starting with the windshield. Starting with the windshield, arguably the most important part of your bus or your RV or even your car. This is huge and frankly, if you can't see clearly out of it, well then you're at risk of hurting yourself or someone else, especially if you're barreling down the road in 40,000 pounds of luxury. So I'm going to show you how to properly clean the windshield. And to start, I'm going to use a Crystal Vision glass cleaner. So there's a lot of glass cleaners on the market. Some are good, some are not so good, some are great. I tend to stick with the great variety. And the reason why is because I don't like cleaning glass more than I have to. Chances are, like you, it's not your favorite aspect of detailing, but it has to get done. So first and foremost, do not clean a windshield that's hot to the touch. If it's hot to the touch, that actually changes the chemistry of the cleaner and it makes it more difficult to use. So I start off by making sure the windshield is not hot and then I take my cleaner and I simply spray it all over the windshield. So once you have enough glass cleaner on the surface, then it's time to clean the glass. So whether you're working in a car or a bus like I am, having a triangular extension tool makes the job a lot easier. So I could use my hands and frankly in this bus it actually wouldn't be too hard to do so. However, like in a car where the windshield meets the dashboard, it's very difficult to clean that area. But even with the bus, this gives you added reach so you can clean the glass. So I have this set up here. And what's really nice about these tools is that you can actually extend the length even more. So if you're short, or if you just have a huge windshield or a steeply raked windshield, then you can use this guy. And what I especially like about it is that it has this nifty hook here for easy storage. So I have this and I simply go up and down, side to side. And one thing I always tell people is to make sure you clean the inside glass in opposite direction of what you clean the outside. So you can easily identify any streaks as they occur. And if your windshield's really, really dirty, you might need to change the bonnet because what will happen is as you clean, it's going to become heavily saturated with the oily film or the dirt that's on the surface. So you'll just essentially end up smearing it around. So I do that and then I can either switch to a new bonnet or I can take a glass towel and wipe off any excess. Uh, one thing you can do is apply a little bit more cleaner and then simply wipe with the towel. Or again, you could switch the bonnet, but for the sake of time, I'm just showcasing a towel. And this is not any regular old microfiber towel. There's a science behind the towels and the science lies within the weave. So if you've ever seen me work on something that's painted, I'm often using a soft microfiber towel that has a weave like this. Well, these glass towels, these have a uh, non-linting weave. It's not plush. This would not be a good towel to remove um, like dust or dirt for a waterless wash. These are designed just for glass. So what happens is, as you can see, there's no streaks in the windshield. The outside is dirty that needs to get cleaned, but the inside there's no streaks. And that's because the towel, along with the high quality cleaner, it effectively absorbed the dirt and the grime and it safely wiped it away. Now, a common mistake a lot of people make is they don't use enough cleaner, like I mentioned, or they simply spray the cleaner on and they wipe and they think they're done. That second wipe with a clean, dry towel, it's imperative and it's instrumental to achieving a perfectly clear, streak-free windshield. Now, a high quality glass cleaner, you can use it on more than just your windshield. You can use it on the television, for example. So this particular motor coach, this Numar, has a really nice TV and naturally it's going to get dirty over time, going to get dusty and have film on it. So you can take your cleaner and spray it directly on the towel. And normally these TVs don't get too terribly dirty. Um, so you don't have to use a ton of cleaner. And frankly, I wouldn't spray it directly on the TV. I would just spray it on a towel to be safe. And you just wipe it over. And again, you wanna use a really high quality towel because if you don't, what will happen is you can actually scratch the TV. This is not glass, this is a plastic. This is part of the plastic family and it scratches really easily. So 
It doesn't take a whole lot of product and it doesn't take a whole lot of wiping. Just be very gentle. And then we'll move on to cleaning the microwave and the mirror. So I better finish this first though. And then for the microwave here, this is glass too. So I'm going to treat this just like I treat the windshield. And what's really nice about a high quality glass cleaner is it's not going to cause any harm to the stainless steel. As a matter of fact, it'll actually clean it and take care of any fingerprints. So there are some tips and some techniques for properly cleaning glass. I'm simply going to repeat this process on the mirrors as well. The most helpful thing that I can tell you is to make sure you have plenty of glass towels. A common mistake is that people use only one towel to clean, then they end up streaking and smearing and it turns into a mess. So thank you for tuning into this episode. I have a lot of glass to clean, so I'm going to get to it. Take care and thanks for watching.